Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you all. I'd like to thank all of you from all, all the levels of my heart, uh, starting with the lowest levels, obviously. Um, it's a great place to start. It's how trees grow, so might as well stick with that natural progression. Unless we're dealing with stalactites. <laughs> so, <we'll laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege and an honor to be here at this, this place. <laughs> I don't get to play places very often, and this is one of the few times that I get to do that. Um, exciting festival, great lineup, lots to, to look forward to. Um, you guys up there, good. You guys up there in the flying Star Wars Senate seats. <laughs> <laughs> this is Geraltheon from the Akadar system. <laughs> Will the Doge of Alamar please state his case? I <laughs> know, <laughs> uh, but seriously, um, yeah, it's wonderful to be here. And um, I was invited by um, uh, many people um, who had no power at all to, to, to have me here. And finally, the right people who actually could put me here also said, why don't you do this? So thank you so much <laughs> to them. Thank you. This hall was built in the 1950s. And as such, has a 50s feel to it. I'm sure many of you walked in here and went, oh, uh, was the Rolling Stones going to play? Uh, uh, where's the where's Led Zeppelin? You know, Led Zeppelin in the fifties, <laughs> as they were as young lads with bowl cuts. Um, not a big fan of Steppenwolf. Um, just reminds me of a band that would ruin picnics. As we all know, uh, the Happy Mondays are, have finally broken up, and it is terrible. Um, this Factory Records has been doing such a great job of releasing so many great new artists as of late. Um, and we hate to see them go. Uh, I was fortunate to see their tour last year, and it was amazing. The dancing man still dancing. Um, wonderful. Of course, how many of you are familiar with the band Tram? Anyone? No? How about Funicular? No? Okay, just checking. You're not big on specific transportation. Have you heard of the Tubes? It's a, it's a great band. Um, I'm here to celebrate some new bands that are emerging um, around this time period. And I know a lot of you guys are like, it's 2008, what are we gonna, <laughs> what are we gonna possibly, what's new? What could change, we've done everything. You know, we've had wax cylinders back in the early days of Edison. Uh, you know, we've gone all the way from jazz and contraption kits and folk musics and, rock and roll and the blues and experimental music and sex drugs music and electronic music ambient music kind of weirdo rock music punk rock music post-punk rock music new wave music you know we've gone through big beat uh, gone through two-step which you you know, all know as Garage, and we've gone through drum and bass, we've, we've done uh, GABA, we've done house and techno, and tech house and tech step, and uh, 
um, Unisphere and um, and Catrasian music and world music and fusion, jazz and um, radio music. <laughs> music made for radio is because they have such small speakers, you have to mix it just right. <laughs> it's all been done basically. So you know, when it finally turned, I was like, okay. What's new in 08? I don't know. But I can say this. I have some favorite bands that are on the underground that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. This is, I'm going to see if you recognize some of these songs. This is a song that I ran into while listening to uh, an American show called uh, 120 Minutes. And I hope that you guys uh, enjoy. Here's a band I discovered while spending time in Brighton uh, on the pier, retracing those famous running steps of Quadrophenia. See if you remember this. You might remember this sort of beat that I sampled from uh, um, Skinny Boy Fat. I don't know if you guys. So you do? Okay, right, yeah. So that was the crocodiles. Um, here's one that I'm pretty sure that you're, you're not going to remember, but I'm going to try it anyways because I always get surprised when a few people are like, oh, yeah, what? I remember that from the Norwich days. Uh, you, you tried Norwich porridge. Very good porridge. <laughs> Anything that rhymes uh, with where it comes from is usually pretty good. Okay, see if you remember this one. Matthias, you're a bit of a fray. 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 Matthias, you're a bit
so I can't put the fly. Do me one piece and me come on the floor. Team star, Ricky came a hammer on the fire. See me kick it on the floor, I kiss him on the mouth. Say, hey, don't go over there, 'cause it's too far. And I don't wanna go over there no more. Oh, I go over here, 'cause it looks fairly clear, and I can make it over there. Don't go going anywhere that you don't wanna go. Oh, oh. Don't go anywhere that you don't wanna go. Oh, oh. Oh, don't go anywhere that you wanna go. Baby, you're the one that I know. Don't go anywhere that you wanna go. Any other other day. Don't go anywhere that you don't wanna go. I know, I know, I know. It seems so cool to go. But it's not that great, yeah. Everybody's talking about it, but there's really nothing going on. You're fine where you are. You look so comfortable. Why displace yourself unnecessarily, yeah? Unless you gotta take a piss. Unless you gotta take a piss. You gotta get some drinks for your friends. Oh. Thank you, guys. Uh, when Yoko and I first started working together in the 80s, um, you know, I wasn't sure what to expect. Here was someone, you know, that was far more experienced, traveled the world eight, ten times over the amount that I had traveled. Someone who was not African. Um, <laughs> And that was the first thing I thought about making, meeting Yoko Ono. I, I, I said, well, she's not African. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, and the first single that we made was amazing. Because it was only one, so it made sense that it was, it was called a single. <laughs> and And she was so nice, you know, because she knew how a recording studio worked. I didn't, you know. I was so young at the time, you know. And being born in the 50s, as a lot of you guys know, um, is no easy treat, is it, in this modern world? Um, most of you here. But the single that we created was single-handedly the most single, like, monolithic, kind of s just a, s a singular oneness that could only never be duplicated <laughs> and was entirely unto itself what it was. So much, I couldn't believe it. Um, and I want to do this for you today, and I hope that Yoko remembers this. I know that uh, Yoko's in a helicopter right now, but... Um, <laughs> um, which is a weird thing about Yoko. She just loves, she loves hanging out in helicopters. She'll just have a 
If you ever see a helicopter just hovering outside of a stadium, that's not a news helicopter, it's just hovering. She loves to do that. So, um, um, so I wanted to do this song, and, and I, I asked her to be here, but um, she hasn't hovered in a long time, and so I, 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 I get it. Um, so I'm going to tr try to do this without her, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Yes, chat with yourself, make it bad, yes, yeah. No more racism, man, that fat, that sound fat. No more racism, man, sound fat. African pride, African pride. No more racism, no more racism. No more, no more, no, no please, no more racism. I, no, I don't, no, thank you, no. No, I would not. No, please. I've had enough. Thank you. I've had enough for today. No, thank you. Please. No racism. No racism. No way. No way. No way, Jose. No more racism. Come together. No more racism. None at all. Please. I, thank you. No, I've, no, I went to the store. I've already got, thank you. I have some. No, thank you. But my neighbor, perhaps, yes. No more stay in school. Thank you. Thank you. This is a poem. Uh, actually, it's not a poem. It's, a, it's like a group of words. This is a group of words um, said to what happens here. Find your step. Find your step. Your step you should mind. Mind your step. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. It's for the immediate and non-immediate unloading. If you see something, say something to someone. Mind your step.
some sugar in your pussy. Baby, let me put some honey in your pussy. Know your body, put your pussy, put the pussy in your pants, and the pussy in your pants. Yeah. Baby, put your pussy in your pants. Put your pussy in your pants. Put your pussy in your put it in your pants. Baby, put your pussy in your pants. Don't leave it on the floor, baby. Take the pussy in your put it in your pants. Push it poppin', push it poppin'. Yeah, put your pussy in your pants. Don't leave it on the table. Put your pussy in your pants. Don't forget your pussy. Nah, nah. If your pussy's on the floor, pick it up. Clean it off first. Don't want that shit to get dusty. Baby, put your pussy in your pants. Baby, I don't want you to forget it today, girl. I know you might need it. Ooh, last night, yeah. Was a wonderful night with your pussy, yeah. Had a really good time with your pussy, yeah. Your pussy is so nice to me. When I feel the magic of your pussy come up in me and Baby, when you gonna get on this pussy scene, yeah Come on, be good to me, yo Your pussy is 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 your pussy in my hand and watch what it does. Put your pussy in my hand and watch what it does. Your pussy's telling me what to do tonight. Your pussy's got a mind of its own and it's telling me what it likes. All I gotta do is listen, baby. Your pussy's got me on lock, sugar. You can keep it on ice, yeah, pussy's got me feeling so nice. I want you to know that your pussy's got me feeling so, 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 Um, I wrote that because uh, a friend of mine um, I left left her pussy on the on the table and um, <laughs> and, uh, and I was like oh my god and she called she texted well she texted me first and she was like oh my god I think I left my pussy on the table I was like oh shit you did um, uh, I can I can run out I'm kind of doing some errands but I could definitely come by and drop it off to you. Um, <laughs> And she's like, oh, you got to leave right away? And I was like, yeah, unfortunately. And she's like, oh, can you leave a key somewhere? And I was like, yeah, well, you know what? My neighbor has a key. And uh, so I left it with Greg, and I was like, hey, man, um, my girl's going to come back over. She, you know, she forgot something. You know, I was cool about it, but I was like, you know, she forgot something at the place, and um, I might need to come pick it up. And, um, and he, was, he was cool, because, like, you know, the funny thing about Greg is... Um, <laughs> 
you know, he, he doesn't do a lot, you know. I, I, he's always home, you know, he's one of those people, it's like, you know, like a sitcom or something, he's like a sitcom character. And, um, and so he's kind of reliable that way, even though sometimes I complain, you know, that I can hear him, you know, uh, doing things. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. Um, uh, with himself, I don't think he ever has anybody over. Um, but a reliable guy, and so, you know, on this day, it was pretty reliable to go, hey, here's the key um, to the place, and uh, the girl's gonna come over and uh, get, get something. Um, and uh, so I put it in a box and, and uh, put it on the table, and um, yeah, and I came back over and, and from work, and it was still there, and I was like, hey, what's, what's going on? Why, you, you, didn't, you didn't need this today, or you know, something like that? And she was like, no, no, I, I got a new one anyways because um, my contract was up, so I just needed to uh, kind of renew it so she got a new pussy. And I just think um, it just goes to show you, you know, um, you, you, can, you never know. It's really easy to write a musical. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's it's something I always joke about, but it's kind of true. <laughs> you just have to kind of dramatically sing, say things and describe things happening. And if you got someone to score with an orchestra underneath it, you'd have a whole musical. <laughs> Anyways, here's a little game that I like to play with the audience. This is called um, Audience. <laughs> when, I, when I say, what is it? Oh, yeah. When I say pine cone, you guys say flizzle flap. <laughs> okay, so whenever you hear pine cone, flizzle flap. Okay. Can we try it once? One, two, three. Flizzle flap, yeah, okay, All right, one, two, three. Flap. Very good, okay, so, so this is a game I'm gonna try to throw you guys off, okay? <clears throat> so I was walking through the park one day, and I see this dame, and I'm like, what are you doing over there? You're on the bench just doing stuff, what are you doing, you know? And suddenly, from the tree, out of nowhere, Comes the squirrel, you know, lands and is like, <laughs> we're like, hey, sorry, we'll pick another bench, you know. So I walks over to another bench, you know, and there's this guy, he's got some popcorn, he's popping it into his mouth. He's like, mmm, this is good, butter all down his lips. I sit down next to him, you know. I'm like, hey, what's that on the ground? It's all over the ground. He's like, oh, it's my, it's my popcorn. And I'm like, yeah, you're making a mess. I'm getting out of here. So I go down to this other bench, and there's this woman, and she's with a man. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing on that bench, you silly? And they're like, oh, nothing to do. We're just looking at these conifers. <laughs> I say, like, were you guys meat eaters? <laughs> they're like, no, conifers. You know what I'm saying? Conifers. I was like, oh, cool. Well, it looks like a pine cone to me. <laughs> 
You know, the thing about pine cones <laughs> is that they're so pine. <laughs> you know the actor Chris Pine? Um, Coney Island was uh, the dumbest game in the world, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but thanks, thanks for playing pine cone. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 everybody. 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 Hi, 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 trying to act hard people like to drive around in their cars because they ain't got better transportation for them and everybody knows that they got flickers and friends i got six town money on a quarter to five and no one give me something when you're telling me lies because hey i got this hammer cam and a flame and hammer send me camera flame and the flame come on come on what motherfucker coming down the street what you gonna do when everybody bleed and everyone telling you the same old thing you got to do panty raids get you up and wait at the first one but you for the first one for ting my summer crown feel the summer crown give up for give up for give me fist on the floor yeah sometimes it gets hard Sometimes it gets hard. 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 
Sometimes it gets hard, sometimes it gets soft, sometimes it gets hard, sometimes it gets soft, sometimes it's in between, sometimes it is soft, sometimes it's hard, but sometimes it's soft. When it's hard, it don't get any easier. When it's soft, it don't get any easier. Pick one, baby, for the right situation, inappropriate's the name when you did with hesitation. It's not first time sitting on top of this stage, and I gotta tell you, I'm feeling so much yeah yeah similar sometimes to madam madam tell the madam tell the man 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 the madam he gon' take a shit. He gon' take a shit in between all this shit. Yeah, sometimes it gets real hard. Sometimes it gets real hard. <laughs> sometimes it gets real hard. Yeah, 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 I grew up in a place where you can grow up. That's pretty hard when you don't know if you're gonna grow up. Yo, I done drank too much, so I done grown up. How you gonna say this shit when I was all grown up? Yo, I got some money in my pocket, but it's not with me because I took it out and put it in my dressing room. That's right, because I didn't want to be an overburden. Now the situation that is control. Ladies and gentlemen, for my last song tonight, I want to thank all of you guys for being so great. I want to thank Yoko, I want to thank Sean, I want to thank everybody that's been a part of this. It's going to be a great festival. We appreciate all your loves and your patience. Give it up for yourselves, because you're wonderful like angels. Give it up for your senators from faraway places. Give it up for yourselves for knowing how you have tastes and shit. Let's do this, Okay, let's do this. Thank you. Okay, here we go. This is it. Okay, I'm gonna wear my ears for this because it's a very delicate song and this is, this is the way to end a show. This, you wanna end it really tiny, really small and very underwhelming. That's, <laughs> that's how I like to end shows. It's every show I've ever been to. The Beastie Boys do it well. Um, Nora Jones, you know, people like that. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, going in. Okay, and this, this is a song that I definitely got from the group Tram. Um, so check out their, uh, their single, Heavy Black Frame, if you get a chance. Um, I think you're gonna really enjoy Tram. Okay, there we go. We're gonna take this out of stereo pairing mode. And we're gonna put this into regular singular mode. We're gonna make sure the levels are good. We're at about 23% uh, on all maximal levels in the gain structure. And I'm gonna make sure this panning is good. Okay, I'm gonna pan over there, make sure that's good. Okay. Hi, Alex. Oh, I'm great. Oh, you look. Yeah, I'm really good. Oh, you look cute. Oh, yeah. Hey, maybe we should get together. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This is it for real, sorry. Okay, this is it. thinking about 
Someday, I hope I get to repay you by playing lots of strange concerts in underneath places all over London town. In dungeons of old, I'm gonna do a dungeon tour, yeah. Just you watch, just you watch. I'll probably be back here in this general area in October, I think. Maybe you can check if that is true on my website or various things that also publicize. Yes, I think it's wonderful for us all. You'll go, oh no, I appreciate all the wonderful things you've done in the name of peace. I give it unto you, to the sun. Hope that the love is returned so much so you don't know what to do with it. Thank you, Sean, for admonishing my fears about what it takes to be here. Yes, I want to thank you each and every individually because it's not without you that this could take place I know there are times when you want to know go take away yourself from the feeling that you're alone I know it's the same for me I hope that it's true when I climb a tree I get perspective all the way up in the branches I know that the tree doesn't mind so much as long as I'm not too far out on one of the branches and it makes it kind of stress and tumble to the ground and that hurts the tree and the tree is really pissed at me but you know what I'm saying you know hope I hope I say what saying is that say words that might do if I could communicate yes I want you to feel things that are underneath the words that are happening a subcarrier wave that allows you to have a conversation with I and you and we we are together I hope that that's not too corny but I know that sometimes it's okay to be sincere in this world of so much information you don't know what to do with it there's so much information you Oh, oh, I do do it yet. Baby, love the way you move. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great festival. I love you guys. <laughs> 